What is up my spooky babes and ghouls? So today I kind of do like another laid back video but also kind of like my normal everyday glam that I've been doing like pretty much almost every day. I mean there's like two or three days of the week where I'm just like this where I'm just wearing like pajamas and no makeup you know like completely no makeup because I'm just feeling lazy that day or just want to do like a little self care day that day so I'm just doing face masks and stuff or just lazing around the house. But anyways yeah so what have I been up to lately? Um just chilling, you know. Um, <laughs> actually, t um, I've been doing really good ever since like this whole like lockdown thing happened and school was moved online. Um, I've been doing better, honestly. Like, men like mentally, I'm pretty good. <laughs> Surprisingly, I thought like I thought my mental health was gonna take like a downward spiral, just being like trapped in the house all day. But you know what? I'm actually really loving being home all day, just doing nothing, yes. doing schoolwork, or trying to keep up with schoolwork at least. Um. Try to keep myself busy. I've been baking a lot. Um, I made a pie recently. I also made a TikTok, so I've been doing... <laughs> I never thought I would ever make a TikTok or make TikTok videos, but I did. I, I caved. Quarantine made me do it, but um, I made one and I've been making little TikTok videos. I've been like, painting, like make, making painting videos, baking videos, and stuff like that. Um, I'll, have, I'll try to have it linked down in the description down below, my username. I mean, of course, I'm Denise Draven everywhere, so it would be pretty easy to find me if you search my name, but... Um, yeah, I made a TikTok surprisingly. But anyway, so let's dive into the makeup already. First, I like to get started on my base. And with my base, I like to use these two serums from Good Molecules. Um, I didn't, I'm not going to say it, but one of them is one to refine skin texture and minimize pores. And the other one is to draw moisture into the skin. The last time I tried pronouncing these on camera, it was a mess. Um, so I'm not going to say the names because I cannot say it to save my life. But anyway, so I start off with the skin texture one and do some drops on my face. I mainly have texture on my cheeks and my forehead, but I do put like a little drop on my nose and on my chin as well. Um, also, I start off with this one first because it's more of a thicker um, formula. It doesn't run. The, this one, the moisturizing one, is more runny, so I like to add that one last. And I don't do both of them every day. So sometimes I do, but I just want a little bit extra moisture in my skin. But usually every day I do the skin texture one. Because, you know, I have some texture on my skin, I have pores, so I like to refine that before doing makeup or even just like in the mornings, even when I'm not wearing makeup. And I'm just gonna rub that into the skin. So like, I did like a quarantine routine video like a couple weeks ago, like maybe like two or three weeks ago. And I did that every day for a little bit, but then I was like, hmm. I was like, kind of want to start wearing a little bit more makeup. And so that's what I've been doing lately. So that's what I'm gonna show you guys today. I've been feeling like glamorous yet um not too glammed up like i don't know i don't know how to explain it but it's a really cute look and i just really want to show you guys it's super easy it's simple okay so actually while i'm letting that sit on my face i'm gonna be using a lip scrub on my lip and a lip balm first i'm using this baby back beauty lip scrub this one is in the flavor caramel apple it smells and tastes amazing so i'm applying this to my lip and scrubbing it on Next I'm using this Milk Makeup Kush Lip Balm. My sister gifted this to me and I really do love it. It really does moisturize my lips and I love the way it smells. It smells amazing. Okay, next is the Silicone Free Prime Moisturizer from Good Molecules. They sent this one out to me and I really do love it. I applied about this much on the face. And I'm going to add like little dots all on my face. And then of course, rub it in. I think that amount is perfect for my face. Um, I don't like using too much product because I like to save my product to last longer. I really do like using this um, primary moisturizer. I mean, I've said this in probably a couple videos in the, in the past, but um, I really do like it. It makes my makeup sit nicely. My face feels moisturized. That's why I suffer from dry skin a little bit, so I think it, I think it really does help me. But also, even like with no makeup, I do like wearing this. Um, I like to slap it on if I'm going grocery shopping, you know, just like really quick. Um, I feel like it makes my skin look better and moisturize and I, I don't know, I just like it. So next is concealing, but I'm not going to be using concealer. I'm using this on the Sasha Beverly Hills foundation in the shade 120 Warm. I would use concealer, but the concealer I have is kind of too light. And I don't know, it just looks weird and I'm not wearing like all over foundation on my face. Okay, so I applied my fingers um, and I also blended out my fingers as well. So I added a few dots. I might add a little bit more after I blend it out. Sorry, my dog is barking. This is how French beauty gurus do their makeup, and I really do like the way their makeup looks. Um, I mean, of course, they really don't wear that much, but I like the way they have like a natural beauty. I have to go grab my dog since he was barking. Like already, I kind of look less tired already. I don't know. We're gonna blend it down onto the cheeks. 
And I'm gonna add a little bit more on it right here. My hands are clean, of course. Um, I'm always constantly washing my hands. You know, I don't really go out. The only time I ever go out is to pick up food, which we don't really do much often anymore. Of even cooking meals at home. But sometimes we're just feeling lazy, or we're just craving like water burger or something. So we just go out and get that. Yeah, I haven't really been out besides grocery shopping, but I feel like grocery shopping now, it's like, a, like not a war zone, but like, I don't know, it's just so scary, because like, you don't know if it's you know, the virus, it's just there, you know? So like, we literally um, wipe down everything, disinfect everything, before we even bring the groceries into the house. And I think now that we're going to start like, leaving clothes in the front room and changing when we come in, and just throwing our clothes like immediately into the washer, because apparently it can live on clothing, and you know, it's always better to be safe than sorry. To be honest, I don't want to catch this virus thing because, you know, it's probably, it, I think, well, it is obviously worse than the flu and I had the flu in a little and I felt like I was going to die from that, so I did not want that again. But I don't want to talk about it no more, um, it's really stressful and I, you know, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I have anxiety, I'm not too sure about that, but I don't, I don't tend to think about it too much because, you know, I don't want to, like, scare, scare myself, you know? <laughs> I'm just glad I'm stuck here with my boyfriend and our dogs and our plants, um, it makes me really happy. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know, like with the school semester, I was just like becoming so stressed. Even though I'm taking three classes, um, they all had like a lot of work. I mean, one class didn't really, it was like really easy, like I already know a lot of stuff, but like especially printmaking because like you have to carve into like wood or whatever to like make prints. Um, that one takes a lot of time. Now I'm actually currently working on print and I'm developing blisters on my fingers from carving, so yeah, that kind of sucks. So yeah, some of my classes like, like need like all time, but we're still doing them. Um, um, of course, they lessen down the projects, but I'm trying my best to pass these three classes because I did not want to fail. So that is it for the foundation. I don't apply foundation on my face um, like how I usually used to, like in my glam looks. Because um, I feel like, because I'm just, I'm just going to be home all day, so I don't like wearing too much foundation, too much makeup. I just want to feel comfortable, you know? Next, um, before I apply powder, I'm going to add some eye primer from, this is honest, I'll say Beverly Hills eye primer. And I just like to get whatever's like on the side of the tube and dab it onto my eyelid. I'm not going to be wearing a lot of eyeshadow, but I still like to have some eye primer on so that way my crease doesn't get all ugly throughout the day. Like literally like how I've been staying sane like during this whole lockdown thing is just like cleaning, getting dressed every day, making the bed. Normally I don't make the bed, but now I've been making the bed every day. Well, it's not made right now, but I'm trying to make it after the video, <laughs> but um yeah, I've been doing stuff like that. I've been trying to wash the dishes every day, every night, put them away. I've been trying to keep myself busy, trying to do laundry, you know, have a huge stack of laundry here, but just not look at it, you know? Um, what else? Yeah, I feel like, honestly, I feel like just doing your makeup and getting dressed every day, even if you're just staying home all day, um, I feel like getting dressed is what's keeping me sane, you know? I'm not staying in pajamas all day, I'm not just like having my hair like all messy and you know just like this lounging around all day at that I feel like sometimes when I'm like that I feel like a bum I mean you can do that if you want that's like if you're comfortable with that but like for me I feel like I have to get dressed in order to feel better I miss going to school I mean not really I mean I kind of miss dressing up going out going to school whatever not really going to school but yeah you get that point next I'm using Zonsasa Beverly Hills setting powder in the shade vanilla and I'm gonna be setting my face. I'm gonna be putting this like all on my face. I'm be using a beauty blender to apply it. I set the eyes first. Guess where I applied most of the foundation, and then I just kind of fan out onto the rest of my face. I haven't really been wearing that much makeup. Um, and my skin's been looking pretty nice. I mean, I don't, I don't think like I was breaking out because of foundation. I think I was breaking out. Like, maybe because of that, I could have been a part of it, but mainly because of, like, eating fast food weekly or, like, almost every other day, you know? Because, like, if you would always get fast food all the time, it's just, like, I've been so busy with school, and then it's nice by the time I get home from school, it's, like, nine-ish, um, you, you know, and usually we just get food to go, so. Or just, like, make frozen pizzas, but yeah. So yeah, I, th I think like just not eating a lot of fast food has really helped. And also I've been drinking like a ton of water now that I'm staying at home, so yeah. Oh, also like one of my routines I like to do every night is like make myself like a cup of tea. And either like work on schoolwork or watch YouTube videos, kind of like calm, relaxing videos, or just whatever, you know. I've been really like watching a bunch of like sewing videos and like how to like sew your own clothing and dresses and even like embroidery. I really want to get into embroidery too. But yeah, I think I really want to start sewing like, my own dresses. 
because I've been seeing a ton of cute dresses online, but the prices on some of them are kind of ridiculous, or like, it's, I don't know, it's just like by the time like add or change to cart, it's kind of like a high price just for like three or four items, and it's like, mm, I can buy some similar fabric and maybe learn how to make a dress that's similar to this, you know? Like, there's a ton of videos, and I know sewing can take like, quite a bit, but whatever, I really don't care, <laughs> like I want to I wanna start making my own dresses. Okay, so next I'm using this Ulta Beauty eyeshadow in the shade Petite. Um, this one I got for my birthday like two years ago. It's like a really light pink shade. And I just dump my brush in it. And I kind of sweep it like all over my eyelid. Just to kind of start off with like a base, like a really light base. Next I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy palette. And I'm going to dive into the shade OG, which is kind of like this like light brown. I'm going to dip my brush into it a little bit and blend it out onto my eyelid. And also I'm going to kind of blend it outwards over here to kind of give the cat eye effect. That's what I'm going to be doing today, a really simple little smoky cat eye, like a faux cut crease. Next I'm using the shade New Yorker. That just sounds so weird coming out of my mouth. I don't know, I don't know why, but yeah, and also I'm going to be applying it basically on the same area to kind of give it some more depth. So next, I'm using my finger and dipping into the shade Anastasia, and I'm applying this onto my crease pretty much. I'm creating kind of like a faux cut crease without cutting the crease, of course. Next, I'm be adding the shade Barb. Let me layer it over the previous shade we just applied. This palette's gonna be like obliterated like after this is all done because I've gotten some pretty good work in this palette. Like I'm pretty sure I'm gonna hit panels and shades probably in the next couple of I don't know months maybe. But I don't know how long this is gonna last. Next I'm gonna be diving into shade 1988. I'm gonna be diving in in it with a small angled brush. I normally use this for my eyebrows, but I'm gonna be using this to line my eyes today. I mean I'm using my eyebrows too, but yeah. So basically I'm gonna create a little wing with this um with the eyeshadow, and I'm gonna be blending it out with another little blending brush I have. Create kind of a smoky eye, and after I blend it out, I might blend it out a few times. Like, I might apply eyeshadow and blend it out a few times, and then darken it even more. Next, I'm doing the under eyes, and I'm applying the shade OG. I used this one earlier on my crease, and I'm blending it underneath the eye lightly. And kind of like when I get to this inner corner, let me zoom y'all in. When I get to this inner corner, I'm gonna go underneath the inner corner. I'm not sure if y'all can see that to kind of give more my eye more of a foxy kind of cat eye look. I'm gonna be doing that. And I think to lighten it up, I'm using the Ulta eyeshadow in shade Petite to lighten it up a little bit more underneath so that way it's just not like dark. Very blending that out, that shade. To give my eye more of a cat eye or fong side effect, so I'm gonna be going back into 1998 and I'm gonna be lining the inner corner of my eyes, give like a small little wing. with some white eyeliner onto the waterline. And last for the eyes is the mascara and I'll be using the Anastasia Bear of the Hills Lash Bag Mascara. Next I'm gonna be doing brows using the Anastasia Bear of the Hills Granite Brow Powder Duo. And I'm gonna dry draw on a color you do. I use draw one kind of straight to get my eye more of a lifted look.
Okay, so next I'm gonna be adding some blush. I'm using the Milk Work Blush Stick, and I'm applying just my fingers. And I don't know. Normally, I apply it like over here onto my face, kind of like from here to there. But I don't know. I kind of feel like going crazy and adding it kind of like underneath my eyes and way down here. I don't know. Just actually, I saw a picture yesterday, and it looked really cute. I don't know who it was, but they had a cool brush right there, like underneath the eyes, and I thought that looked really cute. So I'm gonna think I'm gonna try it today. This is not what I do every day, so this is different for me. I feel like it would give kind of like a more of like of a I don't know more of like an Aretha look, almost kind of like a painting. Like the girls, like the girls like the, of the pre-Raphaelite painting, it's kind of vibe, you know, a lot of blush. I don't know, I feel like I might need like another blush color because I feel like this isn't too much for me. Like not the kind of look I was going for. I don't know, I feel like if I just layer it, it'll become more. We'll see. Yeah, I'm just gonna layer this sucker on. That's, I guess that's what I like about this because you can put as little or as much as you want. I like that, honestly. I don't know, I feel like this lighting is kind of bad. I don't know. I like that. That's kind of cute. I'm digging this. Okay, like one more layer and I think I'm done. There we go. Okay, so next we're adding some full freckles using the Amrezy palette. Again. Um, we're going to be diving into shade 1998, which is the dark brown that I use for the eyeliner. And I'm using this small brush. Um, you can probably find like a little small pointed paintbrush. Or even like a lip liner brush could also work. Um, this is the Swish brush from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm just going to dab it into the eyeshadow. And I'm going to go crazy with the freckles. I like to add them kind of like on a thin of my face, on my nose, and kind of just, you know, make them kind of like disappear and dissipate onto like, my face a little bit. I don't like to add them like all over my face, I just kind of like, like to add them in the center. So yeah, I guess let's dot that in. Then we're bringing it closer. Looks like I have a few already, but I haven't put any on, so I don't know. Like this one right here, like this little dot right there is not a freckle, like, I think it's just a red dot on my face, I don't know. I just like a bump. But yeah, I just add a bunch of like random dots. So next I'll even dive into the other color, the lighter brown OG, to add like a little bit of, what's it called, some variety, you know, different colors, different shades of freckles. Some are darker than others, you know. We add it up onto the nose. Bring some down on the bridge. And then bring some out here. I'm just get some darker ones. I have a natural freckle right here, like natural beauty mark, so I'm just going to darken that up. Like that, and then I have kind of like a, I don't know what it is, I guess it's acne, a little bumper here, it's been there for a few days. I'm just going to make that little freckle. I feel like this layer of blush is a little bit too thick, I don't know, I think it's just me, maybe I should have used a powder brush. I made mistakes today, oh well. It kind of gives them more of like a natural dewy look to the skin though, which is kind of cool, but I don't know, I'm not sure if I like it or not. And anyway, so yeah, we're going to pat out the freckles. I like to pat them out more over here. Pat some down on the nose. Sometimes if I need to, I'll add a little bit more onto the face after patting them out. And then maybe just either leave them like that or just pat them out. There goes my brush. As I was saying, either I'll just leave them like that or I'll just pat them out. And my chair really rose as I got up, so... Cute. I think, I don't know, even though I didn't add blush on my nose and my cheeks right here, it still looks like I have blush, but it's probably just because of freckles. I look really sun-kissed. Like, honestly, this is a good quarantine look because it looks like you've been out in the sun, you've been tanning, or, you know, you've been just doing springtime activities like a normal person should be doing. Maybe not, I don't know. I, I stay inside all day anyways, but it looks really sun-kissed, so yeah, I think that's kind of cute. But I feel like this is a perfect kind of isolation look. Okay, so I kind of want to contour my face just a little bit. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Rosewood Bronzer. Dab my little brush in it and contour my face. I want a little bit of shine on my face, so I'm going to be adding this highlighter from Anastasia. This is in the shade 
peach fizz. Um, I kind of feel like my face does look highlighted already because I guess the blush makes my face look more dewier and shinier. But we're gonna be adding a teeny bit. I'm using a fan brush because I want it to be a bit light. I'm just gonna brush it on my face like that. Oh my god, I feel like that was a lot. Oh well, too bad. Too late. We can't go back now. I'm gonna dab some off my brush this time on this side and just hide it on. Just like that. And then I'm gonna go in my finger, on the nose, on the bridge of the nose, and just kind of bring it down like that. I want my nose to look nice and cute. I just realized I forgot to put blush on my nose, so I'm gonna do that really quick. I like to do it to add this kind of like cute button kind of stick effect. Not stick, but just, I don't know, just a cute little, I'm not, I just, I just think it looks cute, okay? We're kind of cartoonish a little bit. I'm gonna start doing this like after like watching Likely Makeup, and she does that a lot, and I was like, oh my god, that's cute, so I started doing that, so. I'm gonna add a little bit on the tip of the nose, just a little bit of highlighter. Okay, so next I'm using this ColourPop Lippy Sticks in the shade Kenny Paint. And I'm gonna draw my lips. I'm gonna try to do like a pouty kind of look for my lips today. Actually, um, before I even add the lipstick, I'm just gonna add like a dot of foundation on the corners to kind of hide that a little bit. Kind of doing a little bit of underlining, a little bit of overlining as well. Kind of similar to what I did my Bratz video. Yeah, I think this foundation is a better cover up than the concealer I use for my brat slip tutorial because the uh, concealer uses like really light and you can tell like you can really tell why I underline my lips so now onto the lippy sticks I look funny right now I know but it's, it's part of the process it's part of the process okay so right here I'm gonna be doing it different a little bit. Let me tell you guys in just a little bit. So here it's gonna be different. Instead of like kind of like carving out my lips to where it's like like that, like how my natural lip shape is, I'm gonna be doing kind of like a what's called a peach lip, which is kind of like a princess peach lip, like how our lips are. But it's kind of hard on my lips because like I feel like my uh, what's this called? The cupid's bow is more pronounced a little bit, so you can obviously tell I overlined it. So. See, it's hard to do it on me, on myself, because like even like when I overline it like that, it still goes into like a curve because like my my cupid's bow is like so like it just dips down so I guess far down. I guess eventually I'll learn my way around this. But yeah, it's, it's really obvious that I overline my lip up there. <laughs> it kind of looks a little ridiculous. I'm not sure how this fix it. Like maybe if I mattify it with some eyeshadow, so that way it's not so shiny on the top. I don't know. I haven't thought about that. Cute, but I feel like I just need to add eyeshadow on top to mattify it, but I don't think I have a shade that's good enough for it. I don't know. I'm just add like a random those were light brown shades on top. Oh yeah, that worked. Although it wasn't the right shade. Like you can't even tell though, they can't even see that eyeshadow on top. It really did mattify it. So it doesn't look too noticeable, but I mean you can still tell. But it's not that bad. It's cute, I like it. I kind of want to give the look a little bit more of like, a, you know, kind of like you've been eating berries outside, you know, that stain your lips. So I'm going to add this red lipstick. This one is from Honestly by Beverly Hills and it is in the shade Seraphine. We're going to be adding a little bit to the center and then blotting it out the finger. Like that. And then there's me blotting it out. Slip with the darker shade in the middle because like with the lighter shade it kind of brings out like my cupid's bow on my upper lip more so yeah and then I'm using a little bit of foundation on the corners just to like kind of make the lips look 
I don't know, just kind of make the corners disappear a little bit. You could use like a lighter um, lipstick shade as well. There we go, the slip. I don't do the slip every day um, sometimes, but I just do like one color. Um, or I don't do the shape every day either. Sometimes I do just a little bit. But um, yeah, I don't do like this whole like lip thing every day, you know? It's It just depends on what I'm feeling or how quick I want to do my makeup. Um, also, I need to set my face with this dewy setting spray from Once Outside Beverly Hills. I love the way it smells. Um, I didn't get it when I first got the PR package from them, but I had requested this product um, when I was getting the I like got restock in some bra items, so I was like, hey, I was like, can y'all throw in some dewy setting spray? Because I really want to try that. And they sent me one, so oh, like, I thought that was like really badass. Um, I really do like it so far. I feel like it makes my face look nice. It helps my makeup stay nice and set throughout the day. And it just smells wonderful. It smells like summer. I just really love it. <sighs> I love this. Can I just have this like in the... Body, a body spray scent, please, Anastasia. That would be amazing. Okay, so last but not least is the br uh, brows, is the eyelashes. Um, I don't have them on their package. I had them sitting out, but these are from Enchanting Beauty Cosmetics, and these are in the, in the style Muse. I really do like this. I think these specifically for like looks like this are a little bit more natural because there are tiny lashes. You see. Um, if you don't like wearing big lashes, and this is a lash for you, and also kind of like flares out, it's like a cat eye kind of, so... I like using it especially for like looks like this, where I have like a cat eye already. So I'm gonna these off camera. Okay, so I'm gonna change into a dress or a different outfit, whatever, and then do my hair, and I'll be right back to you guys. Okay, so that is it for today's video, so hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you leave a like and comment down below, and also be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Also make sure you follow me on all my social medias. Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. I'll have all my links displayed, my na usernames displayed down below in the description box and also on the screen as, uh, as well. Yeah, so it's kind of the kind of look I've been going for every day. I mean, it's like, I don't do like the lip thing every day and I just tried out this like new blush, um, this new blush look. So normally I do like the blush like all right here, but I think I like this a lot more to be honest. But I mean, of course you do whatever floats your boat. Y'all can kind of follow. Y'all can follow my tutorial, but also add your little tweaks to it if you want. I think it looks really cute. It kind of gives like a goddess kind of vibe, you know, um, like a nice glow, nice sun-kissed look too. Also the way I did my hair, I kind of curled it. Y'all can't see. I curled it lightly. I even curled these little pieces. And I braided this part. And I, I clipped my hair back too as well. But I mean, sometimes like I'll braid this and then clip it back and have the rest of my hair down, but I wanted it down today. I think that looks really cute. It kind of gives like a goddess kind of vibe, so I like that. This whole quarantine thing has like, even before that, I had like discovered like cottage core and like I kind of like the whole like vibe and like aesthetic and the clothing and everything. It's just so cute. And I'm also, I've been like really, like I'm not, I haven't really said on here on YouTube, but like I've been keeping up with it on Instagram, but like I've been like gardening a lot lately. Like I've been planting veggies and stuff, many peppers. We've been growing like bell peppers, reapers, um, habaneros. Uh, what else? Banana peppers, and much other peppers, and then also I have, now we have tomatoes, and eggplants, and zucchini, and what else? We have a lot of stuff, honestly. We have a lot of herbs, herbs too, as well, so. Our garden is really huge right now, <laughs> like it's growing, like it just keeps growing and growing, so I'm really proud of it. And maybe I'll show you guys a YouTube video on these days, it's kind of just like a video, you know, showing everything I have. Or maybe even like a harvest video. I'm not sure if you guys are into that or not, but I'm really like, of course, I post on Instagram. Like, I'm always posting all my plants on Instagram, on my stories. But I don't know. Let me not know down below in the comments if you guys want to see that kind of thing, or maybe even like a daily vlog. Like, not every day, but just kind of like, kind of like what I do during my day, during quarantine to keep myself busy, to keep myself productive, you know. I don't know. I don't know if you guys want to see that or not. Um, of course you guys can check out my TikTok, <laughs> now I have one, so I'll have it displayed down below in the description box as well. Um, I make a bunch of the videos from my plants and baking and painting and other stuff, so this is good stuff I don't do here on YouTube. I don't think I'll be doing makeup TikToks, I'm not sure. Um, I don't know if I ever will. You want to my name? Bean. I'm a little shit. I love him so much. Also, tell me what you guys think of Bean. He's terrible. He's cute, but he's really terrible. And he's been driving me up the walls this whole time, so... It's been fun. <laughs>
So yeah, so I guess that'll be it for today's video. So make sure to leave a like and comment down below. And also be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet for more videos coming up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I really do enjoy doing this look every day. Um, or at least close to this look every day. At least I do dyes the same every day, so. But I mean, of course, you can use different palettes, different colors. Um, sometimes I'll like use the other, I use the Jack Anna palette. Kind of like use the same color combo. Like the shades are a little bit different, but it's the same thing, you know, pretty much. Like, the, just the shades are different. But I do like the same like eye look, eye shape and everything with that, so. And of course, you don't have to use the Anastasia palette. You can use whatever you have, whatever products you have. So I hope you guys are staying safe during this quarantine. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.